What's up guys, it's Lolly Lord and it's back. I still haven't installed the new curtains yet. I will at some point. But uh yeah, we've got another day of glare. But I do have a somewhat fix. If I have a hoodie on, it kind of blocks it but not fully. So it's gonna be a little better, but not like exactly good. This is another video for Spookfest 2023. And this time we are doing uh Dreams of an Insomniac! You may remember last Halloween, um, Pastor released his Dreams of an Insomniac Halloween, uh, Haunted Halloween PSA, and it was actually really good. Uh, I did that for Spooks Fest. And, uh, he since released two other videos for this In Loving Memory and Family Photo Album. But yeah, so let's go. Sorry that I'm watching this in, like, the brightest room actually possible. Well, this whole thing is just a bunch of malarkey. A bunch of kids going into some Halloween store to steal a costume? Yeah. No. Oh? If you ask me, this whole thing is just some trumped-up news story for some small town- Alright, right, cut, cut, come on. Do you think anyone's gonna believe this? We're trying to make a news story here, man. Don't so, this is a news article? A video? What do you mean we're running out of time? <sighs> Fine. Uh, We'll use one of the older cuts. One of the older cuts, okay. Dreams of an insomniac. So apparently these kids were stealing things for Halloween. Um, in loving memory. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's really quiet. Goddamn. Let me make it louder. In loving memory of this guy. Oh no. Kenneth Kruger, 1956 to 1987? A, feel oh, what's going a on? feeling oh, of okay. sorrow is hung over Easters County this Halloween night after the unfortunate passing of the late Kenneth Kruger. Kruger was a dedicated and passionate officer and I'm doing who like always put I can't the see people the of Easters County before himself. Of the he was not only a respected officer, but also a beloved member of our community and a caring father. Kruger's passing occurred late into the night, with officers discovering his body after they had received reports of his son, Klaus, being heard screaming from inside their home. After arriving at the scene of the crime, they found his body hanging inside his son's closet. Oh my god! As well as his body, officers on the scene found this note left on his son's bed. What does it say? Can't read that. The disappearances the that occurred last year affected Kruger more than any other officer on the case. He was very close to many of the families involved, giving him a sense of responsibility for solving the case. Yeah. This quickly led to rage, sorrow, and regret, which eventually became too much for him to bear. Yeah. Nobody was there to listen to Kruger in his time of need, but now we will make sure that his story is told. If you or anyone else you know are suffering from any mental health issues, don't hesitate to call this number and seek help. What number? I can't read it, really. Help. Please Kenneth help me. Is alive? I just want to die. He's alive. Why won't you let me die? Because I still have use for you yet. Oh, damn. I just want to say it's very hot in this because the sun is glaring on me and I have this sweatshirt just for the hoodie. Damn. What happened? Is that actually it? it... Alright, that's it. So that was about this guy named um, Kenneth Kruger that died. I don't know if the guy that was keeping him was the guy from last time that it was like the big weird imposter bad guy but i don't know we'll see i guess i don't know maybe all right guys i have a temporary fix my monitor is currently at a freaking angle i'm not even joking it's tilted okay i tilted it like this so then i could see the whole thing this is temporary by the way also i moved my chair up so i might be a little higher up family photo album dreams of an insomniac let's go Family photo album. The viewing of this tape is meant only for the eyes of authorized foundation personnel. Am I supposed to be watching this? I don't know. 
unsolicited viewings may lead to termination. Oh, YouTube, please. Posture, please. Dreams of an insomniac. Family photo album. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm stupid. On the night of January 6, 1987, the ECPD had received a phone call. <laughs> Calm down. Received a phone call from a distressed man reporting that something was trying to break into his home. Okay. We're starting to steer back to the first episode. I really like that first episode. Upon the disappearance's arrival. No, no. Upon the dispatcher's arrival, he as well as anyone else who have made... Who may have been living in the house were reported missing. It's really interesting. That is really interesting. The only evidence that could be found at the scene of the crime were a photo album as well as a camcorder, which seemingly contains footage of the events which transpired on that night. So really interesting. I'm moving back down. Hi guys, I'm short now. <laughs> so that's the photo. Why they look so deformed? Upon opening the photo album, detectives were baffled to find that all the photos within were horribly disordered. This made it incredibly difficult to identify the people depicted. Yeah, like, this is like, god. It's the, it's the dad that's really tripping me up. January 6, 1987, search 6. So, trying to find footprints and stuff, maybe? We're looking at the ground. Where are we? This isn't like normal road. Like, where is this happening? What's gonna happen? Anything? Is anything gonna happen whatsoever? Or is it nothing? It could very well be nothing. Son, oh my god. The first night out. Uh, when detectives questioned the neighboring residents about the identity of the family in the photos, none were able to provide any useful information. So they were just bad neighbors. <laughs> Didn't interact. It's not out. One resident went as far as to say that no family has ever lived in that house. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? To help with the sun, I'm gonna move this. Oop. Other monitor now. It's on the other monitor. So now it looks like this. So now my face won't be dying. Okay. Let's see? So this is the first night out. Sammy? Sammy, is that you? What, what? So this is the dad? I'm right here, Sammy. You're gonna have to help me though, honey. I can't find you. Sammy is... I don't know if that's Sammy, my guy. Goodbye. All the culprit behind these disappearances remains a mystery. What? What else? Several photos in the album, as well as the 911 call made that night, suggest that they might not be human. That's scary to think about. That's why I look like Mandela Catalog, cause the the creature. <coughs> oh my god! I love the feet angle. It really tells me what's going on. The orange light coming out of its face. I can't see, so I'm looking at like OBS. It's too dark. Interesting. No, no, no. I didn't give you I'm telling you, it's the demon. The demon. So him, and now couldn't take me. I'm looking at the OBS screen because sun glare is insane. This is why I always have my windows closed and the curtains. It's right here. Why? Why do you keep using this face? Why are you doing this to me? So bright. You see how it was completely dark? It's nighttime. And then he just lights up the room. Like it's just the sun.
What's going on? Like the lyrics of the FNAF song? What? Is that the cops? This is really interesting. Like, I, like what happened? Why did he just walk up and go up to him? And who is that? Okay. Probably a cop. I hope so. Hey, Chief. Yeah. I think I found something. Oh, the handprints. I love you. The only clear photo of the perpetrator. Oh my god, it's a freaking ghost. That's it. Very cool. I liked that one because it gave us more info on this second, like, this second insane killer. There was one from the first episode that I really liked, and I really liked that first episode, and it was really ambitious. Uh, the second one, whatever it was called, it was alright. Family photo album, I like this one. This one, it's good. It's scary. It tells us about the creature. I love it when in analog horror things aren't human because that makes it more scary because I because it's more mysterious. And that's what I think Pastra is doing with this. He's making it so that we don't know about like the victims but also the creatures. So it's really interesting. If I have one suggestion, I just want him to go back to the original monster. I really liked that one and the idea that it was on Halloween and that there was this guy and he had to Lock your doors and your windows. You had to close all the curtains. All the, everything. It was. I really liked it, you know. But this one, it's dope. That's where I'm gonna leave it. I don't wanna make it too long. So, with that, thank you all so much for watching. Dislike the video as much as humanly possible. And I will see you in the next one. Toodaloo.